Coach, I guess let's just talk about bouncing back, coming back from North Dakota State. You got Western coming in here, another ranked team, back to back games, homecoming. Yeah, homecoming is going to be excited. You know, I'm going to fire up to see everybody come back. You know, all those old timers want to come back and compare how good they were and relive their Springsteen days and, you know, with glory days and stuff. But uh, I'm fired up about homecoming, but I'm more fired up about us just improving, keep getting better every week. And, uh, you know, it doesn't matter who we play. And I'm going to keep saying that. I don't mean any disrespect by it. We have to bounce back. Now, you know, we went through our 24 hours. Now we're in the preparation phase. The uh, guys had a nice uh, practice last night. They've been back in here again Monday. They're starting to learn. Our players are starting to learn that they're consistent now, too. They're all in here Monday doing their thing. They're in a normal routine. And we'll get back to uh, working on the field tomorrow. I know you say that you don't have moral victories, but coming off playing number one. I don't uh, have a moral victory, Dan. But, but, but did you see improvement in the guys that, that they're taking steps, uh, you know, on both sides of the ball? Yeah. Well, there's two facets to that. Number one is I think, A, without question, we're getting better. And number two, which is very important, is the players understood why we lost the football game. There's reasons why you win and lose football games, and I think it's come to their light, and they're starting to see that and understand that. And now it's time to correct those mistakes and move forward to the next game. Uh, I'll say this. People don't rise to low expectations, and our expectations are high. So I think what happens, Jim, very sincerely, I think what happens is if you put so much into something, and the outcome isn't what you want it to be, you're really depressed about it. Whether it's you know planting those pumpkin seeds since Halloween's coming up or preparing for a football game. When you don't get that big green, green and they're orange, <laughs> big orange pumpkin, you're depressed, right? So I want our guys depressed and um, because they only because they put so much into it and they know they could have done better. Anything pop out from the film that, that wasn't apparent uh, you know, from the sidelines on Saturday, that, you know, good or bad? I think we did a lot of good things. You know, I think that opening drive was phenomenal. Um, I think we did a lot of great things. We just had probably, if you take for argument, you know, maybe 10 or 15 plays away, which you can't, you know, we're right there with them. So what we have to do is continue to do the other 80 plays really well and correct those 15 plays. I know you say you don't get out much, but uh, with homecoming week being this week, what do you hope for, expect from the fans on Saturday? Well, what I really hope, and I'm glad you asked that question, is that Bear Walk is awesome. And I really hope that our students, because our, our fans, I think Springfield came out and showed up, because that whole east side is for the students. And those students did a phenomenal job with the tailgate. They did a phenomenal job with the Bear Walk. And now what they have to do a phenomenal job is follow us in there and sit up there in the stands. That's what I really hope would happen. When you look at... Um do you look at North, North Dakota State and go, those guys were so much better than the other guys in the Valley? Or do you look at them and say, we, they're pretty much you know, the same, consistent with what the Valley has from other teams that you're going to be looking at? Um, you know, from what you saw on the field. What I saw on the field was a really good, hard-nosed, disciplined football team. Well-disciplined, well-trained, well-executed football team. That's what I saw. Now what I'm seeing is the same thing out of Western Illinois. I'm way past... North Dakota State, if I'm going to scream and yell at my players about the 24-hour rule, I've got to live by it. And that's what I was, so I'm on the Western Illinois. So do you see them kind of? They're a very good football team. You know, their, their defensive line are very physical and strong. They have a kid, 99, I'm bad with names, Saunders. I hope your name's Saunders. But 99, not only is he big and strong, he's got great quickness, great get-off. I think there's a lot of similarities with our linebackers. That number 44 is a tough, tough nut. Plays really well, well disciplined. I love their defensive back, number six. I think their most experience on defense is their secondary. And number six, I think, is a really good football player. Uh, offensive line wise, I think they're very, very comparable. I think 55, their left tackle, is really athletic, uh, which concerns me a little bit. And I think their quarterback has a lot of similarities to our quarterback. He runs well, he throws well. Um, I think there's a great, great uh, comparison there. And I really like their receivers. You know, their tailback. Their tailback, and I mean this as a compliment, I don't think he's got that uh, giddy up and go speed, but he's got great quickness and agility and elusiveness, you know. But I don't think, I don't know how fast he is on video, but he's very, very quick, very, very agile. They've got uh, like a 3,000 yard receiver, 2,000 yard receiver. D do you expect a lot of passing or, be, or are they more balanced? I think they're a very balanced team. They want to run the time of possession, they want to run the football. I think they're a team that runs the football to set up the pass, in my opinion. And uh, I think they're going to come out. They want to come out of the game very balanced. <laughs> Defensively, do you think there's anything that you could maybe take from that first quarter, that first half, and, and translate it? And was there any coaching style? Was it was it the players' effort? Or what do you think? 
can be duplicated from, especially that first quarter against North Dakota State. No, I think our effort for the whole football game was fantastic. I think what happens is what we have to do, if I would take anything probably, is as the fatigue of the game goes on, which happens because you play 60 minutes, you have to maintain your focus and your execution. So what we have to do as we get going through time is we have to be able to focus and stay executing on our fundamentals and our assignments while we're tired. Can you talk a little bit about uh, Kern Blamey and just kind of his growth and, and kind of being the running mate with Dylan Cole back there in that linebacker? Yeah, Blamey's doing a great job. You know, a little Monet guy, and uh, he's high wire, he's high strong. He's our, he's our enforcer on the football field, I guess, you know. Um, <laughs> I'm smiling because, you know, Kern crosses that fine line sometimes. I love his attitude. I love his passion. I love the way he plays the game. As a linebacker, where, where do they need to fall in the whole defensive scheme? Obviously, they're kind of your quarterback in, in the eyes, but what does he need to do, especially moving forward this year and into this senior year? Well, what he needs to do this year, what he needs to do this week, is really do a much better job with his eyes because his physicalness, his passion, his uh, intelligent level of his football IQ is, is high. And what he has to do is discipline his eyes so that he sees his keys. When he sees his keys, he does a really good job of his execution, where he fits in the defense, where he's supposed to be. And then when his eyes get corrected, his fundamentals and his passion and his effort will take over because he has those other things. Is there a difference between seeing on film and seeing, seeing them in person um, that you can relate to some of the other guys in the, in the conference that you've already played? Well, I, I don't compare one to the other because you can't because, you know, every day everybody's different. Um, and I've never really studied them. I saw them on video before, but when I watch video, I study what I'm supposed to be seeing. You know, I yell at the players about their eyes. I want to make sure my eyes are watching it. So my eyes don't wander. And what I've seen this year is, um, you know, I wouldn't know if Coach Fisher was a new coach, is my point, because I didn't know what they did last year or anything. I don't know nothing about Western. Mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of ironic that Bob did a great job there. He left one set to South Dakota, and now we don't play South Dakota. So, um, <laughs> I still don't know what Bob does on offense and defense, <laughs> but what I see on their team is, uh, you know, they're going to do a, uh, which is surprising to me a little bit, is they're also a fullback, a two-back system on, on thing, and they run a 4-3 defense. So they're a 4-3 cover two, they'll play a little trap defense, we play little quarters, you know, so uh, I see a well-executed football team, I really do. You mentioned it with your offense kind of running the wildcat formation. How is defensively, how do you kind of prepare for the unknowns a little bit? You didn't see them last year, you're kind of going off a of film. What do you do defensively in the coaching staff? prepare kind of for the unseen? For the unseen, well, we always have that unseen plan. It's like, uh, you know, Coach Pinkley has always said, be prepared for wishbone. And I also always want to say, hey, Coach Pinkley, I haven't run wishbone since 1985 when, uh, <laughs> when Barry got out of it, you know. Uh, but you, you prepare for all those things. And what's really good is the way we practice because of our lower numbers here than up north is we go against each other. So we get to see unbalanced sets, different sets. Our offense has to run certain things for our defense to get better, to service each other. So we kind of see that as an ongoing process, and we'll always have a plan for something like that.